if you're having trouble remembering any big accomplishments from Congress this year, well, there's a reason for that. Lawmakers didn't end up passing many new laws. For all the drama and headlines from Congress in 2023, lawmakers didn't do much that could be felt by their constituents back home. In fact, Congress passed fewer than 30 bills that were signed into law, making it one of the least productive years in decades. This is actually one of the few times in history where it appears that the partisan contentious environment that we've been observing in the House and to a much lesser degree the Senate, but this actually seems to be reflective in the scope of legislation and legislative policy making that's happening right now. Still, the House of Representatives got plenty of attention. I never thought we'd get up here. It started in January when it took Representative Kevin McCarthy a record-setting 15 ballots to become Speaker of the House, but he would lose that title less than nine months later when Representative Matt Gates filed a motion to vacate. Chaos is Speaker McCarthy. After three weeks and another four ballots, members settled on Representative Mike Johnson from Louisiana as the next Speaker. The job of the Speaker of the House is to serve the whole body, and I will. But I've made a commitment to my colleagues here that this speaker's office is going to be known for decentralizing the power here. Meanwhile in the Senate, Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville of Alabama blocked all general and flag officer military promotions for most of the year. He was objecting to a Pentagon policy allowing service members seeking reproductive care to be reimbursed for travel costs. The burden is not on me to pass legislation to stop this illegal policy. The burden is on the administration. Burden is on the administration to stop breaking the law. He dropped a vast majority of those holds in December, allowing the Senate to confirm 425 promotions at once. All in favor say aye. Aye. But the Pentagon did not make any policy changes. And a few members landed in some legal trouble. Senator Bob Menendez was indicted for allegedly accepting bribes and acting as a foreign agent. Representative Jamal Bowman pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor for pulling the fire alarm. And Representative George Santos was indicted for identity theft and embezzling campaign funds, a charge that ultimately led to his expulsion from the House. So what was Congress's biggest accomplishment of 2023? Well, avoiding a debt default in May and avoiding a government shutdown in the fall. But the government shutdown threat will be back in January and February next year. Stephanie Liebergen, Scripps News, Washington.